This video is way long overdue, by the way. I mean, like six months ago, I was talking to people on my Instagram about posting this. I just never got around to it. You know, I've been studying, working, and my camera didn't work properly, so I guess I'm finally getting around to it now. Um, and if, if you don't know who I am, I'm Shan, or Shan's edits as of this channel and on my Instagram. You may know me through making video edits and video editing tutorials for Video Star. Um, basically, all, all I'm going to be doing today is taking you through literally everything I know about retaining quality on your edits because I think that's something I've struggled with a lot especially as an editor on my phone it's always been a massive issue for me and I always get a lot of questions about it yeah let's get into it so the first point seems quite obvious but um, I would stress to you always to use high quality clips try and download in 4k HD um, at a high frame right yeah, I'd always stress to you to download in HD or 4K if you can, if that's possible, or at the highest frame rate you can if you if you use videos. If you are an editor who edits like YouTubers and TikTokers and you download the clips from them social media sites, you would go through a third party um, and always choose the highest option for the quality. Like I know it's a bit of a bummer thinking, oh my god, this is gonna take up so much storage, but always go for the highest option, the highest quality option. It's a little bit different for TV show editors and movie editors. I recommend using like logoless accounts on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, and there's some on Tumblr as well, if anyone uses Tumblr. Basically what these logoless accounts do is they download torrent files from websites and then share what they've downloaded on like public storage spaces like Google Drive and Mega and make the link at accessible to you and then you can download it straight to your phone it's less dangerous than downloading torrents and i'll i'll link a few in the description some of my favorites basically what these logoless account basically what these logoless accounts post is like compilations of clips or sometimes entire episodes or entire movies um and they'll compile them into like themes so they'll do them with certain characters uh, certain genres and themes and things like that for example uh, my recent edit was of Wanda from WandaVision and there are loads of scene packs of like Wanda scenes even packs that are specific to like Wanda's sad scenes or Wanda's happy scenes or Wanda's family scenes or ship scenes anything like that always try to resort to finding sources for the highest level of quality because sometimes you might find a tv show clip on youtube that's like 720p but logoless accounts will post it in 1080p so it's different everywhere sometimes you know if your tv show isn't that big and you can only find clips on youtube the next quality tips might might come in a little bit more handy to you the second point i wanted to make was that your colouring will play a huge part in your edit. I actually have a scene pack, not a scene pack, sorry. The next point I wanted to make was that your colouring will play... The next point I wanted to make was that your colouring would play a huge... <laughs> Another point I wanted to make was that your colouring plays a huge role in how your quality is retained in your edits. I find that using transform and that function to create edits in video star really does butcher my quality quite a lot i actually do have a cc pack on this channel a coloring pack on this channel that i i use religiously i always use those colorings and they maintain my quality so much better than transform colorings and i think i made them using I think it's called color shifts and basically it'll just change the hue of different colors i think it gives it a nice little theme another thing i also want to add is not to mess with the brightness too much um i find that this highlights the bad quality especially on darker clips so as well try and use um, brighter clips for a bit more definition the third point i wanted to make about retaining quality in your videos is how you upload it will affect your quality when you can try and use wi-fi just because there's certain data caps on 4g and um, that butcher the quality when you're posting to instagram now instagram like butchers your quality anyway because you can only upload like certain size files if that makes sense if you post to instagram like me and you have a facebook account linked to it a lot of people tend to post to instagram through instagram's creator studio i will actually link in the description 
tutorial on how to do that because often it doesn't really work on my phone, it always crashes, but if you've got a laptop or a computer or anything like that, always try and upload through Instagram Creator Studio. Um, the quality is like immaculate when it's uploaded that way. The fourth point I'd like to make is I don't know if this is because of my like sheer laziness when editing but I always prefer to use like pictures instead of videos because like by the time you download your video and then import it into video star the quality like has already like sort of degraded so I do recommend using pictures and I know that's difficult for some editors because sometimes you want to add velocity to your edit or you want to add twixter or slow-mo anything like that um, you can't really add your video effects to these pictures quite obviously because they are pictures <laughs> if you're like me and you edit tv shows and movies and things like that you're best finding sites that post screen caps so basically what screen caps are, are just like screenshots of a frame in a movie or a tv show and i use these all the time and i'll, I'll drop some examples of places I take screen caps from and I do find that that helps a lot with my quality. It also makes the transitions look so much smoother as well just because there's no movement in the video that would affect like the sort of aspect of your transition so if you're doing a zoom and it's moving there's always going to be some sort of like shift or angle because the video is moving if that makes sense like it makes perfect sense in my head but it probably won't to you. Yeah so I do stress that sometimes if quality is a massive issue for you then resort to using screen caps or just editing photos that is literally like almost everything i know about quality on video star and how to you know post your edits in good quality because i know i've i've suffered with quality loss quite a lot in my edits and it's so disappointing when you put so much work into an edit and then you post it and it's literally just like a bunch of pixels so um i really do hope you've taken something at least one thing away from this and if there's anything else you want me to cover just um comment and I'll, I'll try and get back to you I'll try to reply to your comment and thanks for watching